Now, this is at John Aaron High School in Marrero. Videos on social media show multiple fights between students on campus and parents say they are increasing. Our Paul Murphy spoke with a 15 year old victim and his mother and both say they're concerned about the level of violence at the school. Cell phone videos show a troubling trend at John Aaron High School. Students say there have been more than a dozen fights on the Marrero campus since the new semester started a month ago. He came up from behind and snuck me. This student didn't want us to show his face, but the 15-year-old freshman confirms he was the target of this vicious attack caught on camera last week at Eret. I was knocked unconscious and had a lip laceration which needed three stitches, and I was uh, given a CAT scan which the results came back as a mild concussion. The student said he was sucker punched by a classmate who mistakenly thought he reported the teen for smoking marijuana in the bathroom. Whenever he hit me, he appeared to have something in his hand. The student's mother, Kathy Schultz, called John Aaron a hostile and unsafe environment. There are several fights every day, several a day, not just a uh, one-time incident or isolated incident. They're not random fights. Jefferson School District officials aren't denying there's a problem at the high school. Schoolyard fights are unfortunately a part of school, but we have seen more than normal um, at Eric over the past week or so. Just last week, Eric principal Wesley Taylor went to the hospital with a back injury after attempting to break up a fight. Schultz said if the school can't even protect the principal, students are certainly at risk. I want the Jefferson Parish School Board to take responsibility for the violence that is out of control at this school and to do something about it. The Jefferson Federation of Teachers is also demanding action from the school district. JFT Executive Vice President Kessler Camise Jones said teachers at Eric are very concerned with the level of violence. I mean, they're afraid they want something done. And there is no clear policy in Jefferson Parish about what they are to do in those instances. So uh, if I intervene, I may get injured. If I intervene, I may also be disciplined. 13 students were arrested at Eret after fights broke out on the last day of school before the summer break. Teachers worry the problem may have gotten worse since last semester. It's escalated. So if the principal's obviously injured, I mean, that, that's clear that it has now really grown into something that We've got to do something different than what we've been doing. Additional administrators and support personnel were sent to the high school to assist the staff and faculty and to help tap down the violence. What we're seeing is that you have kids who have issues in the communities with each other, and then they're coming to school and, uh, and fighting. The student attacked in the video is seeking a transfer to another high school. Kids were saying I shouldn't even come back to school because I got knocked the F out. And that it was going to happen again. Arid administrators are now promising to provide help to students who are having trouble and to remove those who refuse to change their negative behaviors. Paul Murphy, Eyewitness News. Tonight, Jefferson Parish school leaders are pledging to address the fights, even sending out an email to parents saying, quote, though they're in the minority, there are some students who have made the decision to disrupt education and shed a bad light on our school. The student who attacked the 15 year old on the video that you just saw was arrested and was charged with second degree battery. The alleged victim's mother said she plans to make sure the teen is prosecuted for injuring her son.